हेलो एवरीवन वेरी गुड इवनिंग वन एंड ऑल वेलकम टू द मोस्ट कॉम्प्रहेंसिव प्रिपरेशन ऐप फॉर ऑल एग्जाम्स बाई जूस एग्जाम प्रेप एंड वॉम वेलकम टू द क्विक रिकैप ऑफ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क्स इन जस्ट फाइव आवर्स गाइस इन दिस सीरीज वी हैव ऑलरेडी फिनिश्ड फोर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फोर फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्कड टॉपिक्स फोर मोस्ट वेटेज टॉपिक्स from computer networks since last 3 days so today we are in part 4 in the last 3 days we have discussed delays error control sliding window protocols and ipv4 addressing these four important topics we have already discussed in the last 3 classes by chance if any one of you have missed them please <coughs> explore our byju's exam prep youtube channel you will be able to get them and please do watch them okay so today's topic is another important topic that is routing algorithms okay so without any delay i'll start the session with my quick introduction i am satya research scholar with 15 plus years of teaching experience i have mentored more than 35000 students all over india i am qualified in gate ugc net set and also certified by cisco right guys our expert mr rakesh talreja sir will be taking a mega workshop where you get one year complete preparation strategy for 2024 gate aspirants on 5th november at 8 pm so catch rakesh sir live at 8 pm on 5th november without fail okay so guys this is what the series uh, uh, as we have planned as i said already we have covered delays error control sliding window protocols ipv4 addressing in the last three classes right so today's topic is routing algorithms and tomorrow's topic would be tcp congestion control but guys please make a note of the change tomorrow the class will happen at afternoon 12 pm i will not be available in the evening tomorrow hence this class will happen in the afternoon 12 pm tomorrow okay right so today we will discuss routing algorithms guys so let us proceed we know routing is the functionality of network layer yesterday we have already got the functionalities of network layer as logical addressing routing source to destination or <coughs> host to host delivery right so about logical addressing we have already discussed yesterday which is ipv4 addressing with which we understood how source to destination identification is done and how the delivery happens today let us discuss about routing so what is routing everybody think that routing means finding the shortest path sound finding the shortest route but guys please mind your words while defining routing while defining routing routing is not just finding the shortest route that is incorrect i can't say that is incomplete why sir routing means not just finding the shortest route finding the optimal route i have to say finding the optimal route how they differ sir optimal route shortest route both will be same no i'll give you an example dear friends you tell me okay let's say i am in the fifth floor of a building i want to reach the ground floor of the building or i want to go out of the building <coughs> okay there are three routes possible one in the lift 
I can go. Two, through steps I can go. Three, I can jump from fifth floor. So, you know, jumping from fifth floor is the shortest because I reach in short time. Right? But is it the feasible route? So, we will reach the ground floor but don't know whether you reach, whether you go down or directly up. That is the only question mark, isn't it? So, <coughs> with this example, you can understand. Routing is not just finding the shortest route, dear friends. Finding the optimal route. Sir, what is optimal route now? Shortest feasible route. Shortest feasible route. Harsh Mishra, I have already taken a session, the last 100 days strategy to get AIR under 100, maybe 10 days ago. If you just explore our website, you will be getting or else <coughs> just ping me in the telegram group, I will give you that link. Okay, ping me in the telegram group, definitely I will be happy to give you that link. Okay, fine. So guys, I believe now you understood what is routing, finding the shortest feasible route. Maybe one route may be shortest, but from the history, if it is said that all the packets going in that route are getting lost, getting corrupted, then do you choose that shortest route? No, right? It's very simple. From your house, let's say you want to go to a supermarket you know one shortest route but at that particular point of time let us say that in that route in that route some ganesh immersion is going on or some party meeting is there so <coughs> the police has actually blocked that route as it is the shortest do you still choose that route no right you will go for the next shortest so, the next shortest is optimal in this case. Why? Because that is feasible. Okay. So, I believe uh, you, you understood what is the difference between shortest route and optimal route. Routing is the process of finding optimal route, not just shortest route. I believe everyone understood. <coughs> so, let us see what is actually defined. See, the process of finding an optimal route nowhere it is said shortest an optimal route from one network to another network or one node to another node is called routing <coughs> who will perform routing sir again there is a myth that router is the one which do routing there is a false understanding bhai or behno pyari dosto Please understand, router is not doing routing, then network layer in the router is doing routing. Routing is the functionality of network layer. As network layer is present in the router, that is doing routing. Network layer is present in three layer switch, that is also capable of routing. Are you understanding? If the network layer is installed in some other XYZ device, that, that is also capable of routing. <coughs> so, what perform routing or who perform routing if you get a question, your answer must be network layer, not router. Okay. Hi Anu, Kaushalya, Harsh Misra, Sathiya. <coughs> min max gaming hello everyone uh, min max gaming is asking a question sir maine ab se shuru kiya hai gate ka preparation mujhe tips chahiye bilkul beta bilkul min max gaming batana hai aapka naam kya hai dekho aapke paas bahut kam time hai abhi aap abhi shuru karne wala hai तो अगर आप 
हर हर दिन सिंसियरली डेडिकेटेड प्रोडक्टिव सिक्स आवर्स इफ यू कैन गिव फॉर द गेट एग्जाम डेफिनेटली यू कैन क्रैक द गेट एग्जाम विथ वेरी गुड रैंक आई कांट से बिलो हंड्रेड बिलो टेन बिलो फाइव हंड्रेड दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन यूअर हार्ड वर्क एंड यूअर स्ट्रेटी ओके सो स्टार्ट प्रिपेरिंग टेक्निकल सब्जेक्ट इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स साइमलटेनियसली नाउ फर्स्ट लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट सॉल्व प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ओके बिफोर यू गो फॉर मॉडल क्वेश्चन सॉल्व प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन देन देन यू प्रिपेयर सम फार्मूला नोट्स लाइक दैट इन द ट्वेल्व सब्जेक्ट इफ यू आर फ्रॉम सी एस आई डोंट नो If you are from CS, we have twelve subjects. In that twelve, make sure you are preparing at least nine, so that <coughs> you will be able to get good rank. Provided you take minimum five six full length mock tests in the January. Do proper analysis. Definitely you can. Okay. Right. So now routing is the functionality of network layer. So when routing is possible. routing will be possible when neighbors network nodes share their data to each other guys sorry there is a, a technical issue now could you please confirm am i visible and audible am i visible and audible everyone thank you anita thank you could you please confirm am i visible and audible everybody so that we will proceed we will proceed <coughs> great great so guys what we were discussing is just routing means finding the optimal route and if the routing should be possible definitely every network should be willing to share their data then only routing will be possible right now for finding this optimal route how we decide that this is the shortest feasible route or this is not shortest how we decide there should be some parameter no the parameter used for routing is generally cost or distance or weight not may not be by <coughs> may not by every algorithm but this is the most trusted parameter <coughs> for finding the optimal route what is this cost or distance or weight every root or edge in the network graph is assigned with weight and that need not to be unique you can have duplicate weights also in different routes same distance possible right in the same way now neighboring nodes <coughs> share information to each other when <coughs> in two cases when sharing happens in two cases sharing happens dear friends one is triggered update do you know what is triggered update when <coughs> there is a change when any change in the network then triggered update takes place any change means what sir some new network nodes added or the existing network node one of the network nodes got disconnected deactivated or some 
edge cost or weight is updated any any of these you can call as change in the network so whenever there is a change in the network then immediately sharing happens dear friends immediately sharing happens if there is no change then for every 30 seconds for every 30 seconds this <coughs> sharing happens within 30 seconds if any change occurs immediately sharing happens if no change for 30 seconds after every 30 seconds this sharing will happen okay <coughs> now these routing algorithms are basically classified into two types as adaptive routing algorithms non adaptive routing algorithms adaptive non adaptive what are adaptive algorithms means these are also called as dynamic routing algorithms dynamic term whenever it comes you can understand whenever the <coughs> packet is going through different different routes different different paths passing through different intermediate nodes where the connections the uh, weights are very dynamic rapidly changing then it would be very difficult to select the root node then this algorithm works then this algorithm works <coughs> so how this algorithm decide the optimal route based on the topology the current topology that particular at that time <coughs> what is the topology and traffic based on the topology as well as the traffic routing will be done so what are the parameters we apply in these adaptive algorithms hop count how many intermediate nodes are there distance or cost or weight and estimated time the estimated propagation time so <coughs> based on these three the adaptive routing algorithms work then what are non adaptive sir non adaptive are also called static fixed so while booting the network the routing information is stored in the routers so packet will <coughs> has to travel in those fixed routes if any of the, those route is damaged if any of that route is damaged then or any of the node intermediate node in already selected uh, route got deactivated then still packet follow the same route because it is a static routing until routing table updates this is what the scenario so whenever routing table updates then it stabilize otherwise the packet goes on lost hi devika good evening got it so these non adaptive routing algorithms don't take the routing decision based on the topology or traffic okay based on the cost fixed they will select these adaptive and non adaptive algorithms are again subclassified how centralized isolated distributed or adaptive routing algorithms whereas flooding and random walk is non adaptive routing algorithm centralized algorithm what it do it find the least cost path between source and destination nodes or you can say from one node to next intermediate node initially in the procedure as it goes on sharing finally the source get the optimal route to the destination it won't happen in one uh, what uh, in one iteration or one round or one attempt guys in the series of iterations it will happen okay so 
it finds the least cost path between source and destination nodes by using global knowledge about the network so it is also known as global routing algorithm then what is isolated it procures the routing information by using local information instead of gathering information means based on the available information you can say it is like prediction this performs routing distributed it is a decentralized algorithm that computes the least cost iteratively in a distributed manner means based on your available information you select the shortest route and send your packet to your next network that network again find the shortest route from that place to the destination if available and send in this way it happens so now we are going to discuss this guys distributed algorithm that is dvr distance vector routing algorithm anyway what is flooding flooding so massively broadcast broadcast the packets to all the nodes you know floods <coughs> whether it is uh, 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 what intended node or unintended node we don't see just flood in flooding when a data packet arrives at a router it is sent to two all the outgoing links all the links means broadcast except the one it has arrived on from which node it has taken it except that it will send packet to all the nodes to which it is connected to so it may be uncontrolled or controlled or selective okay that its nature is little unpredicted then what is random walks it is basically a probabilistic algorithm where based on the past history based on the past history of uh, packets we may select the route okay or randomly to one of the node which is connected to you may send the packet so random walks happens in that way so now guys we will analyze what is the difference basically between these adaptive and non adaptive what we have discussed just to summarize adaptive it constructs the routing table based on the network conditions based on the cost hop count topology adaptive routing perform routing non adaptive it determine which node to send the packet by constructing the table routing table so adaptive is dynamic in nature whereas non adaptive is static in nature in non in adaptive routing decisions are made based on topology and traffic whereas <coughs> non adaptive it is fixed static tables as the traffic changes you don't change the route fixed route we have centralized isolated distributed algorithms under adaptive flooding random walks under non adaptive as dynamic means obviously you have to put more effort more computation hence we say adaptive algorithms are little complex compared with non adaptive right now let us try to understand this dvr algorithm dvr distance vector routing this is distributed means one network node will not find the short route from source to destination it would be a cumulative effort and iterative means in one in one attempt it won't come to a conclusion that this is the shortest route and it is asynchronous 
why we say asynchronous when the routing tables update we can't say because triggered update is there no triggered update says if any change occurs immediately routing tables has to update so the occurrence the occurrence of this updation of routing tables is not falling at the same time intervals hence it is asynchronous okay that is what given in the further uh, statements this dvr algorithm is basically used in arpanet means this is what the <coughs> <coughs> mother name for internet we say advanced research projects agency network later it is renamed as internet we all know and what is the protocol that is based on dvr algorithm rip it's not rest in peace dear friends routing information protocol routing information protocol each router maintains a distance table called vector let dx of y be the cost of least cost path from node x to y the least costs are related by bellman ford equation d of dx of y is equal to minimum of cost of x to v plus distance distance to y how it works let us understand with the example then it would be more clear no okay so let me take the network graph let me take the network graph <coughs> every network is represented by network interface generally used interface would be router so i am taking routers r1 r2 r3 r4 okay let the costs are like this 4 2 7 and 1 now every router first initialize its routing table what will be in the routing table essential fields routing table you will have many here what we use i'll write in the routing table we will have two cost and next fields two cost and next fields so let me write them as a tcn simply so what would be the routing table of r1 two means all the nodes which exist so r1 to r1 any node to itself what is the cost zero okay r1 to r2 if you have direct link mark its cost r1 to r3 seven r1 to r4 do you have direct edge from r1 to r4 no initially make it infinity make it infinity and initially all the next nodes you keep empty okay so this is the routing table of r1 this is r1 table dear friends initial table similarly let us calculate routing table for r2 to all the nodes that exist r1 r2 r3 r4 cost r2 to r1 4 r2 to r2 0 r2 to r3 infinity r2 to r4 2 next nodes empty so what would be routing table of r4 2 cost next 2 is r1 r2 
R3, R4. So what is the cost? R4 to R1, there is no link. So infinity. R4 to R2, 2. R4 to R3, 1. R4 to R4, 0. Next nodes are empty initial. R3 table. Guys, 2 you can understand because 2 means all the nodes. So, I am not writing 2 from now onwards. So, directly I am <coughs> writing the cost and the next nodes. R3 to R1, 7. R3 to R2, no link. R3 to R3, 0. R3 to R4, 1. Next nodes are null. <coughs> so, these are the initial tables, dear friends. Still routing not started. Just every router initialized their routing tables. Okay. Now, how routing starts? How routing happens? By sharing. By sharing. Now, let us suppose <coughs> R1 share its information to R3. R1 share its information to R3. So, who is the sender? R1. Who is the receiver? R3. Now, what receiver do is, receiver compare. Are. Are. Wait, wait a minute. What receiver node, receiving node do is, receiver has to compare. Sir, what will be compared? First, you know what is shared. Only two and cost, two need not to share. Okay, two is understood. Only cost is shared, dear friends, but not next column. But not next column due to security. Only cost will be shared, not next column. Okay, <coughs> that becomes a drawback actually of DVR. <coughs> so R1 is sharing this table to R3. Now what R3 do is, R3 construct one temporary table, one temp table. How it construct? sender cost plus sender receiver cost added means r1 cost plus r1 to r3 cost you add if this is minimum if this is minimum than r3 cost then update then update. Okay? So, let us apply to R3. R3 temporary table is what? R3 temporary table <coughs> 0 plus 7, 4 plus 7, 7 plus 7, and infinity plus 7, 7. Infinity plus 7 is, sorry, infinity. Now, <coughs> what would be the next column for R3 sender node? So, all the next nodes becomes R1. Guys, this is little lengthy procedure. But with interest, if we pay attention and listen, it is really interesting. So, this is the temp table, this is the initial table. Now, you have to compare vector by vector, means row by row. Compare the old table and the new table. New table means just constructed table. What to compare? Next nodes you have to compare. <coughs> when the next nodes are different, Compare 
both tables old and new tables new means constructed this is the new table this is the old table what to compare next node if next node is different then update least cost row if same cost keep the old one if same cost keep the old one so i am comparing the first row of old table and a new table next column i have different so choose the low cost 7 7 same cost so keep the old one next node is different choose the low cost 11 and infinity 11 is minimum next row <coughs> 0 and 14 0 is minimum 1 and infinity 1 is minimum so r3 has selected three rows from the old table one row from the new table and r3 update its table so what would be the r3's updated table what would be the r3's updated table dear friends <coughs> 7 11 0 1 <coughs> so you see this what is the meaning of this r3 can reach r1 at cost 7 no intermediate no next node r3 can reach r2 at cost 11 through r1 this next is telling through whom you are going r3 can reach r2 at cost 11 is it so r3 to r2 through r1 cost is 11 7 plus 4 11 r3 to r3 0 r3 to r4 1 so guys this is the r3's updated table now let us take let us extend it so i am having r3 r1 r2 r3 r4 <coughs> just let me copy 7 4 1 2 now what is r3's latest table only r3's latest table i am writing 7 11 0 1 And what is R4 table? Infinity 2, 1, 0. So, R1 shared to R3. Now, I am considering the scenario R4 shared to R3. Now, R4 is sharing to R3. Who is the receiver? again r3 sender r4 so receiver construct again a new table temp table you call it as or new table you call it as no problem so r3 again construct a new table how sender cost plus sender receiver cost so sender cost sender means here r4 is the sender so infinity plus 1 infinity 2 plus 1 3, 1 plus 1, 2, 0 plus 1, 1 and what would be the next node? Sender R4. <coughs> okay. So, now this is the new table. This is the existing table. By the time R4 share, this is the table now. So, now this becomes old table for R3 newly constructed table is this temp table so compare old and new tables compare both tables of r3 <coughs> if the next node is different choose the low cost row if low same cost in both keep the old one so all the next nodes are different see 
So choose the low cost 7 and the infinity 7. Let me select another color. Yeah. 7 and infinity, which is low cost? 7. 11 and 3, which is low cost? 3 is low cost. 0 and 2, 0. 1 and 1, same cost, then keep the old one. So, after comparison, what is the updated table of R3? Updated table of R3 would be R3 to R1, 7 through low node, no intermediate. R3 to R2, it is 3 through R4. R3 to R3, 0. R3 to R4, it is 1. So, you, you observe. Initially, when the network got connected, R3 has infinity cost to R2. R3 do not know how to reach R2. Now, sharing started. R1 shared information to R3. Then, R3 realized that I can reach R2 through R1 at a cost 11. At least, unable to reach is not good. At least I can reach at cost 11, no? 11 is better than infinity. Means, going at cost 11 is better than not able to go. That is why R3 updated. If I want to reach R2, I can go through R1 at cost 11. Then when R4 shared its information, now R3 even more realized that array through R1 it was 11 to R2, but through R4 if I go like in this way if I go it was 11, but in this way if I go it is just 3. So, this is the short. So, let me choose <coughs> if I want to go to R2 let me choose through R4 instead of R1. So, that is how it updated. I hope just with this simple two rounds of sharing, you might have got how this DVR algorithm is working, how nodes are updating, how nodes are acquiring the knowledge about short routes. Initially, they do not know, they do not have short route information, but upon sharing, upon periodic sharing, upon multiple iterations, like how I have shown R1 to R3, R4 to R3, in the same way, every node share its information to every its immediate neighbor node. So, after certain iterations, all the routing tables stabilize. Stabilize means all the routing tables have short root cost in their tables from that node to every other node. Got it? Another important algorithm is link state routing algorithm. Link state routing algorithm. This is a technique where each router shares the knowledge of its neighborhood with every other router in the network. Means here also sharing. We can understand this LSR algorithm in three ways. Knowledge about the neighborhood. Instead of sending its routing table, in the DVR routing table was shared. Here, a link state packet will be shared. What is shared in LSR? LSP, link state packet. Sir, what will be in the link state packet, sir? You can say topology info. You can say number of active links, their costs, all the 
intermediate routers or intermediate networks info like this link state packet contains so much information about the network okay so how it works a router sends the information about its neighborhood only instead it is sent to it send all other routers information it just send the information about its nodes a router broadcast its identities and cost of the directly attached links to other routers each router uh, that is what first sending the knowledge about the neighborhood then it do flooding flooding means we have already seen it broadcast info and when it send the information only when change occurs means lsr algorithm follow only triggered update triggered update okay so lsr algorithm exchanges information only when there is a change in the connection and as lsps contains all the topology information information about active links their cost everything much memory overhead will be there in lsr algorithm and lsr algorithm is based on guys this throws algorithm i can say sir why this throw algorithm is this throws algorithm is to find shortest path tree that means lsr algorithm says that for every node you find the shortest path tree following this throw algorithm so for every node computing shortest path tree is definitely time taking process so it requires computation of shortest path which is an overhead for the cpu but but guys in dvr algorithm we have actually an issue that is count to infinity problem dvr drawback we can say is count to two infinity problem or two node loop problem we have strategies to reduce this issue like define infinity split horizon poisson reverse we have but still dvr suffer from this count to two infinity problem one or the other times but in lsr algorithm this count to infinity problem won't occur lsr no count to infinity issue but guys but i can say much memory overhead much computation much memory overhead and cpu overhead and all these <coughs> are done by network devices not the computers please understand network devices will have limited memory like computers are having terabytes of hard disk no routers don't maintain that much memory if you maintain also again proper management is needed for it so all together it is becoming much much overhead but lsr algorithm has this count to infinity i mean a count to infinity problem in lsr algorithm it won't occur right <clears throat> everybody i think you could follow it anyway guys these routing protocols 
these routing protocols I can say they are basically classified into two types. The protocols which we use for this routing they are basically classified into two types. Sir, what are they? Intra-domain routing protocols, inter-domain routing protocols. Sir, what is intra-domain or inter-domain? <coughs> With <coughs> within the autonomous system or within the cluster of networks or in simple terms to say in between similar networks if routing is happening that you can say intra domain okay between the domains means between dissimilar networks if routing is happening that is inter domain Intra domain routing protocols are also called as interior gateway routing protocols. Interior gateway routing protocols. <coughs> Inter domain routing protocols are also called as exterior gateway routing protocols. For intra domain routing, we have these two algorithms distance vector routing, link state routing. But for inter domain, we have path vector routing algorithm, guys. Based on DVR algorithm, we have got a program protocol that is routing information protocol. And LSR, based on LSR, we have protocols like OSPF, Open Source Short Test Path First, OSPF algorithm and I, uh, OSPF protocol and ISIS protocol, <coughs> Intermediate System, Intermediate System. And path vector routing based protocol we can say BGP, Border Gateway Protocol. Right? This is what uh, quick hierarchy of routing protocols we have. Guys, now you people can download the free ebook and get the information about our scholarship tests. Also, information, notifications about our workshops by subscribing to our BEP channel and by registering with the link given in the description box. So, do it without fail. So, if we just see few gate questions before we sign off, if you see this, count to two infinity problem is associated with, <coughs> I just said, distance vector routing protocol, direct question which you got in 2005 gate. And 2010 gate we have got one question that is consider a network with six routers labeled R1 to R6 connected with links as shown. All the routers use DVR algorithm to update their tables. Each router starts with table initialized to contain an entry for neighbor blah 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 given. What is the question? After all the routing tables stabilize, how many links will never be used for carrying any data. 
For this, if you apply DVR algorithm, construct the tables, compare, update, by the time you solve it, gate exam will be over. Just use common sense, guys. <coughs> if you have an alternate short route than the direct edge, then that will not be used. Check it out. Clearly, if you carefully observe, carefully observe, <coughs> R1 to R2, the cost is 6, direct edge cost. But I have an alternate route. Through R3, I can reach at cost 5. So, will R1 choose direct edge or indirect edge? Obviously, indirect edge. So, when R1 itself is not using that link, then <coughs> no other router has the possibility to use it. So, this is one link which is <coughs> remained unused. Similarly, we have one more link, you check it out, not 9, not 9. For 9, you do not have any other alternate short route. But for 8, you have alternate short route. R4 to R6 direct cost is 8, but <coughs> through R5, if they communicate, the cost is 5 only. So, this is short. So, obviously, they prefer this indirect way, not this. So, how many links will remain unused? Two links, two links, guys. <coughs> okay. Now there is a connecting question to this. Suppose the weights of all unused links in the previous question are changed to two. What are the unused links? R1 to R2, R4 to R6. So now the cost is changed to two. Apply DVR algorithm again, again routing table stabilize, then how many links remain unused now? If R1, R2 cost becomes 2, definitely that would be used for direct communication. <coughs> so, like that if you carefully monitor, one link is there where you have an alternate short link. What is that? This one. <coughs> R5, R6 direct cost is 4, but now with the cost of 2 updated cost, when you communicate <coughs> in this way, if R5, R6 communicate through R4, then the cost becomes only 3. 3 is less than 4. So, obviously, they choose that. So, this link will be not used for communication and we will not have any other such link you can just go through so how many links remain unused after updating the cost to two one link <coughs> one link got it <coughs> that's all for today guys with the routing algorithms, we have much more to learn, but this is a quick recap of routing algorithms. I hope you understand. This is not just over. We have much more to learn about LSR algorithm. I did not explain what is that count to infinity problem. I just said there is a drawback <coughs> because it is just quick recap. I hope this quick recap helped you in revising routing algorithms once right next topic is uh, tcp congestion control please mind the change in the time tomorrow it would be at 12 pm in the afternoon not in the evening okay now you can get our test series at affordable prices for all cs electrical electronic instrumentation mechanical and civil branches so get the test series by visiting our app or website guys this is my telegram group link dear friends CS underscore by underscore Satyanarayana. If you have not joined yet, please do join to connect with me. <coughs> I 
I hope this session helped you a lot. I wish you all a very happy learning. Thank you so much for joining the session. Do like, share and subscribe to our BEP channel without fail. See you in the next session guys. Till then, have a great time. Take care. Bye-bye.